Hello everybody, how are you? This is Andrea and today it is time for the next Zodiac Chibis episode. This month's Zodiac sign is Leo. Happy birthday to all of you big cats out there, I hope you've had the best celebrations ever. Interestingly enough, I was not at home when I started working on this girl. I was in the beautiful snowy mountains of Mount Buller. That is right, we have a bit of snow in Australia too. I personally spent most of my time here, in this lovely and cozy space, working on my videos while enjoying warm banana bread and soy chai. But let's go back to our Miss Chibi Leo and continue working on her. The initial sketch was done in Photoshop CC, which I then imported into Adobe Illustrator, where I did all of the inking and coloring. The computer that I'm using is a Wacom Cintiq Companion 2, which is basically a tablet and computer all-in-one. Alright, now that we have the basics covered, I will answer some of the questions that you've left on Instagram. I am just continuing from the same pool of questions since I had so many left from the previous video. Okay, first question is, do you have any pets? If so, can you show us? Yes, I do. I have a cat. Her name is Namine and she is a Maine Coon. I showed her in some of my videos already and I even drew her once as a charm and once in my Meet the Artist prompt. I spam her a lot on my personal non-doll related Instagram account, so if you want a daily dose of white fluff, go have a look. Question number two. How long have you been in the doll repainting community and do you plan on continuing in the future? I've been in the doll hobby since 2008, so almost 10 years. And yes, I definitely plan to stay for as long as my passion for it stays strong and for as long as I can afford it. Obviously, priorities can shift drastically and change suddenly, but Let's hope I can keep doing what I do for many more years. Next question, have you ever done any face-ups of well-known characters, like from TV shows, movies, cartoons, etc? Yes, I have a little bit. I've done custom projects of Sailor Moon, for example, and most recently Hatsune Miku. I have some more coming soon, although I try to keep fan art at a minimum, and I honestly prefer to mostly stick to original content. I always felt funny about doing too much fan art. I kind of feel guilty using someone else's IP, although it is so much easier to get noticed that way because, you know, there is already a strong pre existing fan base at your disposal. But yeah, I will definitely still do the occasional tribute to a character or personality that really inspires me. But apart from that, I will keep focusing on my original projects. This is also why I never did a Harley Quinn or Frozen custom doll, even though I literally had hundreds of requests for that and I knew that it would have been a very popular video. But if I did that, it wouldn't have felt authentic and I think that doing that can be a very slippery slope. I feel very lucky that most of my followers don't expect fan art from me and appreciate my own original characters, because those are usually the most meaningful projects in my heart. Next 
question, where do you get your doll clothes? This is one of the most common questions that I literally get every day. But basically, I get my doll clothes from many different places, be it eBay, Etsy, general BJD websites like 99Style, then I commission seamstresses for custom orders, and I keep an eye out on timed doll clothing pre-orders. I also constantly keep an eye out for new stores because new ones open all the time. Doing that does take a lot of time, but I think it's totally worth it. If you check my channel, I sometimes feature specific shops in my doll fashion videos or in my dress-up series. Otherwise, if you really want to know where I get all of my latest purchases, I have every single new finding up on Patreon. And then I also briefly review the purchase, in case you want to get some items yourself. Next question, who are some of your face-up inspirations? I actually purposefully try not to follow too many artists within the hobby. That is so that I don't get influenced too much by them. Nowadays, whenever I look at face-up ideas, I look outside of the hobby. I look for makeup ideas on actual people, I follow illustrators, be it ones that focus on portraits or those who are masters of color or patterns and so on. But if I looked all the way back when I just started, I really really admired and studied as the Inks face-ups. I still have a folder of saved face-ups that she did on Unoas that I was using as a reference. Her face-ups were always a big inspiration to me. I've also always admired Viridian House and how soft and gentle her work looks. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Mm, that one changed quite a lot. Especially lately, there have been many many YouTubers in the doll hobby and art in general that have left, which really sucks. Currently there is only one YouTuber of which I watch every single video that he posts, and that is Philip DeFranco. His content is consistent and to the point, which I really like. If you have any suggestions of great art channels that upload regularly, feel free to share them in the comment section. Alright, I think it is time to go back to our Leo Chibi. What do you think of her so far? I wanted to give this sign a bit of a twist by using pink as one of the main colors. And I also wanted to give her a more innocent look, because Leo's can be cute little softies too. I wanted to stay away from the typical overly confident interpretation. My chibi basically portrays the cuddly side of these big cats. Here we go, this is the final illustration. So next month it is Virgo's turns. And if that is your sign, leave any special requests, wishes and ideas in the comment section. I always read all of your comments and will definitely consider them in the design process. Oh, and before I go, look, I got the Taurus chibi charms from Zep Creatives. Do you like them? I am really considering opening a Etsy store and maybe selling some of these. So if you are interested in getting one, leave a comment, that way I can see if there is enough interest to invest the time and money to make these available for sale. Well, this is all I have for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment and share. Thank you so much for watching, take care and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye!